can God use medical missions? Not only can He, He has used medical missions. If you look at the history of uh, Christian missions in the world, He has used medical missions in a tremendous way. And I highly recommend medical missions and I highly recommend doctors who can go on mission trips or doctors that can become full-time missionaries in needy countries. Um, now having said that, I believe that many times medical missions are not done correctly. You see, uh, medical missions are not the goal. It's not the end goal. The end goal is the formation of biblical churches, the conversion of lost people through the preaching of the gospel and the teaching of the full counsel of God. Now, medical missions needs to serve in that context. So often it seems like there are two extremes. There are people who will have nothing to do with, with things like medical missions, uh, social endeavors, but their theology is really, really good. They preach the gospel, they're gospel-centered, and people are coming to know Christ. But then there's this other extreme in which it's all about social endeavors, it's all about medicine, it's all about healing the sick and taking care of the poor, but with very little gospel preaching or gospel preaching that is not very sound doctrinally. What we need is both things. We need doctors. Oh, they can be used in such a tremendous way around the world. But it's for the sake of preaching the gospel and establishing mature believers in mature churches. I remember uh, years ago uh, working in Peru and having to make a, a trip high up in the Andes Mountains. And, um, and a friend of mine who was a medical doctor asked if he could come with me. And he brought with him just a few different things, not much medicine, but some things that might help some of the people. There were about 1,100 people gathered in that conference up on the top of that mountain in a very rural, very poor area. And uh, when they discovered that he was a doctor, they almost tore the building down trying to get to him. For three days, day and night, they talked to him. And it was so sad because he would have to tell them, look, um, you have this, but we don't have the medical facilities here. We don't have the medicine here. We, we, you know, you're going to have to come to the city. And to see those people turned away and to see them so saddened, you know, men bringing their sick children, things like that, it was heartbreaking. So we need medical missions like never before. But we need doctors who are preaching the gospel. We need um, evangelists and church planters and pastors and teachers that are around those doctors doing the eternal work of caring for the soul. So yes, I, I would encourage it. I would encourage it. And if any of you decide you want to get into medical missions, um, I would be more than happy to talk to you and guide you because so many people are trying to do a good thing but the wrong way. So if you're, going, if you're a doctor and you want to do medical missions, know this, whether you know it or not, you're a theologian. You're either a bad one or a good one. And if you're a doctor who's going to do medical missions, you need to be a good theologian who knows how to clearly expound the gospel, disciple people, and understand what a biblical church truly is. God bless.